I did not plan on buying this much stuff. You got a baby alligator? Oh, can't put this in the video. Waking up on the beach with the sun. Real quick, I have to thank you guys. I appreciate every single person who liked and commented on my last video, especially everyone who commented your mother. Now in the last video, we drove from Atlanta, Georgia down to Florida because currently we are traveling state to state and thrifting in each and every state. I started this trip in Washington State, drove down through Oregon, then I drove to Northern California, over to Nevada, down to Las Vegas, then to Southern California, then I did like a little triangle, went up to Yosemite, the coast of California, drove all the way back down to LA. After those four states, I drove to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, back down to Georgia, and then to Florida. So we have currently checked off 14 states. I'm really enjoying my time in Florida. It's a little hot and sleeping in my car kind of sucks because it gets extremely humid. However, I haven't really had to sleep in my car that much because I was staying with Ryan and Allie. I do not know anyone in the Miami area that I can stay with, but I really would like to go down there and explore. Someone that I met at the bins actually offered to take me to some rag houses. So I'm hoping to run a whatnot live tonight. Of course, after I go thrifting. As you guys know, I'm selling the thrifted stuff that I find in each state as I go. I'm primarily selling all these things on whatnot. I will leave a link to my whatnot in the description down Hello. below. My whatnot is thrifro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. If you use that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase. And it also helps out the channel. I will also leave my thrift page, just like the whatnot, thrifro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. And if you want to stay up to date with my travels, my personal Instagram is the star life, T-H-E-S-T. T A R R L I F E. I do not have that much longer in Florida because soon I gotta head back up to Atlanta for ThriftCon. I'm gonna try to make the best out of my time here and uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go thrifting. They've done two rows in like four hours. I got these Jabos. Oh, I wish no. they were pants, but oh look, it's appealing too. You Saint Laurent, why a sale, baby? Like I said, normally there's like four or five people here. I heard you were here, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah. Everybody had to pop out. This has not been good today. Oh, we gonna be all right. Something's gonna come out. Something's gonna come out. <laughs> if you don't see a banger after this, then I, I, I lied to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this lady was just running from the cops. Are they chasing someone else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you don't think so? They think they got away too. I think you got away from them. Who you rooting for, him or the cops? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he did. This guy told me it's gonna be good. Nothing's come out, and now I might be stuck here because there's hella police. Yeah. Good concept. When the cop car drove by, I was like, yup, this is going to the beginning of the video. This is a good for the beginning of the video. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. Yeah, where did this shoot him? They got out right now. There's like people. multiple people. Oh, multiple people. Yo, parking lot pimping already. I did not expect to spend a thousand dollars. I spent 930 bucks today. I got some cool pieces. German Sesame Street. Sesame Strass with the wrap around. Then you got these uh, uplifting serial killer tees. Beautiful further festival. Clean little mullet hit on the front. Party in the back with the gracious, graceful is the word I'm looking for. White tiger. Nice little birdhouse. A bunch of heaters. Of course, all going on whatnot. Hopefully tonight even though I don't think I'm gonna have time to measure all of them I appreciate you once again my guy nice to see you guys again this guy was gonna bring stuff but he sold it all last I night <laughs> all right well back to thrifting Fox 35 channel 9 I don't know you can't record a hit over okay I did not plan on buying this much stuff this morning. I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff measured and add this to this evening's What Not Live. I have not gotten like over five hours of sleep, I believe in like the last four or five days. I'd love to take a nap, but I just do not have time. I need to try to connect my laptop to their printer. I also need to scavenge this warehouse for shipping supplies. Ryan and Allie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for using your shipping supplies. I love so, you. So uh, yeah, let's get to work. Finish my whatnot live. This whole bin and those boxes are completed orders that are packaged and ready to go. This is product that I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit in my truck when I head back, especially since tomorrow I'm headed down to Miami. And hopefully, I'll be hitting a rag house. It is what, like 5.45, 6? 5.50. 
nine. God dang. I literally slept outside this man's house. We actually met at the Benz. So we're going down to Miami today to go check out some rag houses. I bought some things. Beautiful little Jinko hits right here on both sides and the Jinko hit on the back of the neck. This Florida's Brass Rail Saloon. Nice little fader. Simpsons Puff Print. This thing is crazy, but my favorite one is this Harley. It says, I'd rather have a sister in a whorehouse than a brother on a Honda. That is absolutely insane. The Hog Farm, San Jose, California. And my guy gave me a sick ass hoodie which is perfect masters of gynology we are specialists in the studies of gynology what's your instagram you can find me at the og farms also i didn't record this part where we had this freaking fire like junior burger it had like potato chips crushed up on a burger anyways guys i'm tired of shit so i'll see you guys in a bit bars you got a baby alligator Yo, you be safe, man. After a couple hours driving, we are here. I don't know how the filming is going to be because usually most rag houses are kind of hard to film. This one doesn't seem like super discreet, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna try to film what I can. All right, guys, I'm hoping they let me record, but we do got some things. These I have a 15. These crew necks. And then there's a T in there too. There's this one. 15, 20, 75, 50, and 150. Copping these. This is probably gonna be a giveaway because it's uh, not in the best condition, but ODB, MC Hammer. I asked if I could record he said yeah this one seems a little bit more chill than some of the other ones but you got a bunch of bales looks like he's actually uh getting a bale organized right now i appreciate you letting me record too Absolutely, thank you so bro. much luckily i was actually able to film i do not think i'll be able to film another one anyways as you guys can see that one's a little bit different because uh with that particular rag house they still do individual prices so price was a little bit higher i would actually say in terms of pricing it's very similar to the warehouse that i have access to back home but that warehouse actually has bales uh, Man, every time I pull up to a spot, as I said last time, you guys know I'm allergic to bullshit, so hopefully we don't gotta deal with no bullshit in here. Anyways, just to be safe, we are busting out the GoPro. Yeah, that's the worst part. All these VVSs think it came from Minnesota. Can you tell me one of those bags, please? No, I can't. Not that one. Uh, that one is trash, right? Huh? That one is just one of the women's, yeah. Appreciate Anything in that bag, I get 50%. Hey, you want to Big dogs. Nice little mid. Uh oh. Nice little hanged beauty. We just went through all these bags. We have like these Haitian ladies. Last couple ones left. I am so tired. I'm off two and a half hours of sleep. No food since breakfast. What'd you say? Potential. We're going to another spot after we eat. I'm cool with that once I get some sustenance. Oh, you know who hit me up? Who? Uh, oh, can't put this in the video. I feel bad. I feel like we came through and then it's like everything was perfectly organized. It was organized, right? <laughs> and, then, and now we got like a bunch of people in here and it's like it's everything it's strewn fun. about. It's a part of it, man. Alright, we got quite the big stack here. A lot of these are like $4. Oh, not this one. That's 120. Basically, this whole stack right here I got for 500. Wild things, some Looney Tunes, and Ninja Turtles. I just bought a Ninja Turtles that I want to pair that with for the Instagrams. I love the small front hit on this. Matchbox 20. This one might be in the personal. Blind Pig Records. But yeah, man, I appreciate it for sure. Thank you for letting me look at all the cool shit too. Whoo! Man, it's been a long day. I've been living off two and a half hours of sleep. Almost no food. I'm exhausted. But shout out to my guys. I appreciate you taking me down here. Sorry, sir. Southern sir. Florida. Who you guys think did the best of the rags? I think this guy did the best of the rags. Honestly. I think you did you second did best. I did worse, bro. I was so tired. I think the hardest piece hands down was that Larry Bird. All these damn chops. Yeah, that one's fucking fire. Yeah, that was cool too. The Colorado Rockies. Yeah, these are probably the two best pickups of the day. Yeah. yeah. Schmackers. I'm about to go sleep. I'll see you guys when I go back up north. See you Sunday. Yes, sir. Peace. Oh, oh, wow. This is a really good way to wake up. Look how blue the water is. It literally looks like Gatorade. Blue ass water. Water that's way too blue. Blue water. You know, I love the Pacific Northwest, but Florida, you are not that bad. I just have not been spending enough time getting to know you, and I've been spending too much time searching for clothes. Well, maybe not too much time, because I found a lot of good stuff, especially last night, but what a beautiful way to start the day.
Where'd you guys get that rat fink at? It was an expo where like people who usually go to flea markets bring out their like rare items. And the person who was vending the rat fink, he was like, oh, I never bring this out. People don't take me seriously. They don't shoot me a good offer. He's like, I paid a lot of money for it. That's the type of stuff that like, I don't know. You just don't no, for come sure. across often. Like I said, I have a rat fink statue at home. Yeah, yeah, it's mine too. Alright, for sure. You guys excited to not trap out the kitchen no more? Dude, I'm so oh excited to not trap out the kitchen. We're gonna actually have a living room in our crib now. Like, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, we used to, we used to have jewelry displays on the counter. We used to have shirts that went across the entire kitchen. My place is like that, but not an actual store. It's just my closet. Like in my pantry, I just call it my pantry and it says hello pants. <laughs> you know? I love that. Yeah, it's. I'll tell you what, it was quite an experience. If somebody wanted a coffee, we'll whip up an espresso real quick. You know what I That's mean? That's tight. Way more personal, obviously, because you're literally Extreme. where you guys live at compared to like the store but the store is obviously something you almost need in order to grow that's exactly what it is i mean this place you know i provided that homie vibe we were able to come through kick it if you wanted a beer crack open a beer you want to smoke a joint outside smoke a joint literally our home so yeah you know we just made it as welcoming as possible yeah. you gotta miss that all right lnf vintage was my last stop no more i quit well until monday <laughs> you failed me woke up on the beach this morning got a little taste of some nice nature vibes, and you know that is what we are going to do for the rest of the weekend. Yesterday feels like a I went from seeing alligators in the rain to feeling like I'm in Outer Banks or something. We are entering the Keys. The southernmost point of the United States. I have literally made it from corner to corner. Moments like this is kind of what the trip is actually about. I love sorting through old clothes and finding cool stuff. And waking up on the beach with the sun. Just getting some nice fresh air. I wish I could do this literally every day. It's kind of stupid to say because I feel like everyone wishes they could do this every day. But at least I get some days to do this on the trip. I think the whole time that I've been in Florida, I've just been focused on work and going and finding stuff. And I've found some really cool stuff. Like I'm actually pretty excited just thinking about it. But at the same time, it's like this was my goal. This is what I want to do more of. If I ever do get to make another channel that's like more focused around car camping, I am 100% going to come down here and spend a couple weeks in the Keys because it's just super chill. Car camping here was way easier than Miami. I don't think I mentioned this in the video because I was like so alarmed when it happened But I was sleeping in a Publix parking lot. Someone came and like knocked on my door. It like woke me up I saw them. I knocked back just to let them know like hey someone's in here Don't try to break in then they signaled for a tow truck and a tow truck came to try to tow my car as I was sleeping I hopped in the front seat skirted off but here I got left alone all night woke up to the beautiful sunrise Looks like there's like a farmer's market across the street. We got people People walking up and down like the beach. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, not that I know of. I've been here all night. So, okay. anyways, an absolute vibeathon. <sighs> I don't even want to get up. I just gotta say thank you to every person that follows my videos, likes the videos, that comments, that supports Thrift Row, on Instagram, on whatnot. Every single person that's ever supported my business or anything I do, because without you, experiences like this would not even happen. And I would like to make that as clear as possible because I'm eternally grateful for every person that supports me and gives me these opportunities. Back in Northern Florida. I've done so much driving. I got a couple days here. I need to try to edit. I have some packages that I need to go pick up and ship out. I also need to get an oil change tomorrow. I got so much stuff to do in these next three days. I should not be taking a nap, but damn, I am exhausted. So I am currently in the Goodwill parking lot watching Outer Banks while I wait for the next row to come out.
All right, so these three tees that I left out, these are tees that I grabbed at the bins, a little Metallica, another little Metallica. Oh, this is actually something I grabbed from the rag houses. Super random, we went to one of these rag houses. They didn't really have anything, but they did have a GX1000 shirt. Sorry if the lighting's a little messed up, but you can see the little logo. Ugh. Anyways, uh, my truck is getting way too full. Now that I got my packages, I got my stuff, it's time to head back. It feels kind of weird, because I'm basically packing to say goodbye, even though I don't leave for like three more days. As you guys know, I made my way back up to Central Florida, and I did not record anything today. I was planning on going thrifting, but your boy got a flat tire. So I spent all day at the deer little ship feeling great about my tire. $430 later, we got a new tire. We are ready to leave, but of course, I had to stop and say goodbye to these individuals. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate like you guys welcomed me and you guys sent me off and yeah. bid me farewell. Uh, I also bought a ton of shit. I think I have more clothes in my Forerunner than I currently have stashed at Harrison's Warehouse back in Atlanta. So we will be doing a lot of whatnot lives. Follow the whatnot, follow the Instagram. You are no time it is anyways. I do not feel like saying anything else because your boy is exhausted. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Of course, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys next time I come back down to Florida. I would actually say most days on the road does not involve me waking up on the beach. That being said, currently I'm sleeping in like a truck stop gas station parking lot off the freeway. I'm halfway to Tampa. So I'm gonna go see my uncle before I head back to Atlanta. I also got some people to link up with, so uh, yeah, time to hit the road. Last night was super dope, but of course I'll talk more about that once we get to the recap portion of this video. Right now I have to find a cafe or something or somewhere where I can just sit down and edit. I think I found a spot. Also this coaster, I bought this when I was in Key West. I also got this sick necklace. The bottom half is made out of a spoon. Now uh, I am currently looking for a place to camp. A friend of mine that I actually met through social media recommended Davis Island. He said I could stay at his house, but you know what I'm saying? It's just a vibe waking up on the water. I came back up from Miami to go to the bins in Central Florida. I was actually taking a nap and I said, I'm waiting for the next rotation. The rotation before that, right before I got back to the bins, a bunch of banties came out, but I did buy some off of some other pickers. We got this Metallica, another Metallica, and yet another Metallica. Of course, these and a lot of the other tees that I show you guys will be auctioned off on Whatnot starting at $1. This video should be live on Wednesday and my Whatnot Live should be on Thursday. Date and time, of course, is on my Whatnot. The top link in the description. If you click that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase and you can support the channel, support your boy, buy a piece. I definitely need to sell a lot. So I might be doing some random lives where I go live like literally maybe like once every other day just to sell a couple pieces because I have so much stuff. I can't even show you guys everything that I picked up in this video, but I do want to show you guys some of the bangers. You guys noticed I didn't get a whole lot of filming because it's kind of difficult to film inside the rag houses, and I didn't really get a chance to explain this in the video, but if you notice, the first rag house I went to, they separated a lot of the vintage, and they had separate prices for those pieces, which is good, but also kind of bad. It does save a lot of time because you know what you are getting. Now, the benefit to the other rag houses is every single item was like three or four dollars depending on the rag house, but it was really hard to find stuff. Got this ODB, super cracked, but I'm probably Probably gonna do a giveaway for this on whatnot which is why you should follow me on there even if you don't plan on buying something I literally do a giveaway almost every single string got this MC hammer vintage tee as well single stitch back-to-back -back amazing Harleys in the last video I got that New York Harley Davidson for the personal you guys saw this you got the Italian mobster right there with his little Tommy gun and the Golden Eagle on his shoulder with the Brooklyn New York hip so this one right here is not an official Harley Davidson tee but it is kind of like a Harley Davidson boot single stitch and then this one is just oh my goodness the fade on on this is just insane. Harley Davidson. And then on the back it says, if you want to blend in, take the bus. One of my favorite pieces I got was this German sesame sheet wraparound. You got Elmo and the Cookie Monster on the back. Sesame Strauss on the front. That piece is insane. I got some insane Jinko pieces. I might keep one of these, but I'll probably sell one of them on whatnot. You have this one, which has two wraparound prints on each side. This Jinko one is super sick with a little graffiti hit on the front. And then the back hit is so insane. Little 3D emblem, Harley Davidson with the Reno hit on the back. This next tee I have at home. Oh man, I found this in an extra large Iron Horse Saloon XL. Front hit still has some of the 
sparkles on it. This thing is insane. <laughs> Man, finding this in an extra large is crazy. I don't know if it's like a Florida thing, but I've been finding a lot of drug teas down here. When I went to go visit LNF, I got this super sick Harry Pothead tea. I don't smoke personally, but I might actually keep this because low key, I look like Harry Potter. Like look at the resemblance. I also got some dog eat dog drug teas. You have these shrooms on the like lower left abdominal region. Then I came back up and bought these. This one says, I'm high, unified state of confusion, hair force, the crackhead Mac, smoke treat from the street, surprise you're addicted, <laughs> free pipe offer. This one's dope too. This one says, total, the hangover cure that really works. Uh, I got like four more teas that I wanna show you guys. One of course is this Jesus tea. This I got at LNF, it's like a Jesus tour tea. I had to cop this in order to repent for the sins of the tea that I copped in the last video. We we needed balance, you know? In the last video, I got the craziest, probably most offensive tea that I've ever had. So we had to get a little Jesus tour tea to make up for it. <laughs> now, like I was saying with the rag houses, it wasn't like a crazy come up or anything. The prices really weren't that bad. Like in the ones that I could not film as much content in, it was only like three or $4 a piece. Just like with the bins, you know, a lot of people will record videos going to bins or going to rags and they're only showing you a brief highlight. I try to be realistic with the videos because I want you guys to know if you're watching this, you take time to go to these places. You're not just gonna go and find some crazy heat every single day. Don't see these little videos and think that every single person is going in spending like 30 30 minutes in the thrift store or in the rag house and just finding bangers. That's just not the reality. Usually these people are spending hours upon hours upon hours searching for these pieces. I don't know if rag houses are different in other locations. If you know of a rag house and you feel like you can get me in and I am going to be in your state, let me know. Of course, reach out on thrift row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. While you're following the Instagram, I don't know why you're not following the whatnot. Literally, we got a show coming up soon, so make sure you follow me on there. Anyways, I'm gonna go over these last couple teas. So yeah, we got the Jesus Tour tea. We got this Matchbox 20 tea which has a super sick graphic i kind of want to hold on to this one but i'm gonna see how it fits then we have this weed tea no i do not smoke but i just like drug teas i have partaken in other substances in my past i've never been much of a smoker personally now i am a square bear from delaware i don't partake in any substance that alters my mind i rarely even drink alcohol but anyways you have this little weed tea right here the king of weed he's got dreads a blunt and then instead of like the spades hearts clubs or diamonds you got the weed and then of course the last but not least we have this piece right here this piece may look familiar if you saw it in my last video the homie that gave me the grateful dead i've seen this tea like a couple times over the course of several years ever since i met him this tea has just been popping up i saw it online i saw it on whatnot i saw it at quick stop when i was down in miami like i just saw this tea like four different times in the last week and i almost pulled the trigger on it twice however that being said i did not end up grabbing it but he mentioned that he was gonna sell it sell it with a couple other pieces from his collection and just some pieces he's trying to get rid of i'm gonna try to fade it out i kind of want to get this as faded as this little uh harley davidson i feel like that would look so sick now i'm probably gonna sell the other grateful dead that he gave me and replace it with this one i want to keep something from him just in general when people go out of their way to give me things like it means a lot like it's insane sometimes if someone gives me multiple things they'll give me stuff and say that i can sell it i always will keep at least one thing just as like a little memory because it's just insane to me that people are willing to give me stuff like the fact that people rock with me enough to just give me something is insane sometimes i feel like me saying thank you in the videos is like a little repetitive at times when i tell you guys that without you guys i would not have any of this i mean that i often feel i feel like a lot of youtubers that i meet if they weren't doing youtube they would probably be working some like chill corporate job like they'd still be somewhat successful i used to have a shirt and it just said failure success is not an option and i genuinely feel like if I wasn't doing YouTube I would be a failure I don't feel like I would be successful in some other realm or other capacity just that was not like the cards I was dealt in life I don't know I just want you guys to know that I'm extremely thankful I appreciate every single person who sends me anything if you ever do want to send me anything this is my PO box I'll leave it on the screen for a second thank you guys so much I appreciate it I'm going to spend one more day in Tampa I'm probably gonna go thrifting tomorrow we are headed back to Atlanta in the next video we got to go to ThriftCon. the last ThriftCon, I found some absolute bangers and you already know well, really like the last two thrift con actually now that i think about it maybe i shouldn't go to thrift con because every time i go to thrift con i add personals and your boy needs to stop adding personals in the last two videos i've added definitely like 10 different personals when i get back we're gonna do a clear out sale and i'm gonna sell like half of my personal collection anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart of course like i said before smash like button show some love in the comments comment your father luke i am your father I found my camping spot for the night so i should be good hopefully i am left alone and i do not have anyone knocking on my window all right anyway 
anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be next Wednesday. And, uh, yeah. Peace. Hey, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. And listen close.